Kentucky Auditor Allison Ball has launched an investigation into the Cabinet for Health and Family Services for housing foster children in office buildings. Dejana Wilson has more on the situation that has led to public buildings being filled with cots and air mattresses. These are kids who have been through traumatic situations already um, and, and they deserve you know, great level of sensitivity and care. The state's auditor's office has launched its second investigation into child-related concerns within the past week. This time, it comes after hearing of Kentucky foster care children sleeping in office buildings. So right now, it's early stages of the investigation, and while I, I do have some information, a lot of it is confidential. So what I can tell you is it's not just teenagers. The Fox affiliate in Louisville, WDRB, obtained state records which show from February 1st to now, 137 kids have spent one or more nights in an office building. Kentucky Auditor Allison Ball says this includes children as young as the age of two. And it's not just Jefferson County. A lot of the focus was in Jefferson County, but it has been publicly reported that uh, it, it is all over the Commonwealth of Kentucky. The Cabinet for Health and Family Services told Fox 56 News most of the youth are typically dealing with severe mental or behavioral problems that present challenges to foster families or facilities. The others usually are there for a day between placements. There are other states as well that were doing this and they have stopped it. So this doesn't have to be. You don't have to put children in office buildings. Uh, there are better ways to do this. There are more appropriate ways to do this. There are more loving and caring ways to do this. The cabinet said in part, quote, we publicly addressed this many times with lawmakers and have offered more funding to secure additional safe short-term care options for youth. They say it boils down to the lack of foster care parents available. In Lexington, Dejana Wilson, Fox 56 News.